it was Mother Nature that made the grass that we just simply moved in on and it's been here for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. And we cannot improve on that grass because I saw it go through the 30s and disappear with blow dirt everywhere. People didn't know how to farm their cropland. You know, the dirt moving took any vegetation that was growing. And what that didn't take, the grasshoppers did. And yet, when it turned around in the early 40s, we saw those stems of that grass reemerge. It's amazing that that grass lived through that kind of punishment. Sustaining the quality of our soil health, uh, sustaining our wildlife populations, sustaining the production of our, our animals that we market is probably not acceptable in most cases. What we want to look at is what once was here and what will it take in management practices to restore what was once here. In the early days of, of no-tilling, uh, we'd started dabbling with it in the mid-1980s uh, on certain crops. I mean, it wasn't until 1991 that we went 100%, and I kind of had an aha moment what we call uh, noble blading. It was a big V-plow that we used to work our oats and wheat stubble with after harvest. And what it ostensibly did is it, it just sheared the soil surface about four inches deep. And it looked as though the residues where everything looked fine, but underneath the soil surface, it basically sheared everything away. And I got out and looked and I, I noticed that a big slab of soil had popped up and it was just full of earthworm holes. And I realized at that moment that I just destroyed that entire environment. So I took that slab of soil and I put it on my dad's desk and I said, we're gonna to begin to make changes today. So we took the wheels off the noble blade and parked it in the trees. Um, and that was really kind of the first step of, of moving to a complete no-till system. And then things just started to build and change after that. We planted some of the crop ground, or what had been crop ground, to grass almost right away. And it was neat um, to see the, the native plants come back, because that was, that's always been my thing. I like to ID things. I have a degree in biology, and so the, the ranch has been a hands-on experiment in prairie ecology since the beginning for me. And every time I see a new species or a, a, a different a different forb or a different grass, it's, it's exciting for me. I, that, that's probably the thing I've enjoyed the most about um, watching this place evolve. The education process for us started when we moved on this place. And I will tell you, it's never ending. I would feel uh, like I was a failure if I didn't pass on what I've learned in my lifetime uh, to my children and and hopefully they'll do the same thing for their children because all the practices that we've installed in this ranch the minute I turn over the management to my son or to the next generation or next owner if we don't teach it's lost that's one of the things that I really um, appreciate about uh, what I do for a living is that I can bring my family with me and as they get older that happens more and more and so that's really exciting for me as a, as a dad. Since having kids I think being in a family business means a lot more to me because you know I'm connecting now my kids to what the other generations did and it's kind of special that they've allowed me to join their family operation and you know, be a permit and be a part of the family. You know, I get the opportunity to raise my son here, and um, you know, I'll, I'll get to raise him working by my side, you know, sitting with me in the tractor, you know, coming to work with me whenever, you know, it, it's, it's possible to bring him along, and I get to raise him the way I was raised. So, you know, it, it's a bright future. I think that's, that's a, a good thing looking forward. Well-known conservationist Aldo Leopold said, 
The landscape of any farm is an owner's portrait of himself. It's our goal to portray the portrait that leaves a legacy for others to follow that we can be proud of.